Hi, welcome. Simon here and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a screen replacement on a Lenovo Legion 5 laptop. Here, if you take a look, my screen is pretty bad. The, the impact was done on the right side of the screen. It was a heavy impact on the screen and it started to shatter. And you can see all the color is disordered and pixelated. Only the background here is still good right so the entire screen needs to be replaced and i'll walk you through step by step on how to do that so let's go ahead and press and hold the power button until the computer shuts off and i like to turn it around and show you the model number at least you are looking at the right laptop and follow the right tutorial on how to do the screen replacement so if you take a closer look here it says lenovo legion 5 15 IMH 05H and the laptop is that's how it looks like all right let's go ahead and open up the screen again here what we want to do is to open up the bezel the bezel here is kind of like a adhesive double-sided tape onto it so you may need to um, put a little bit pressure when you pry it open try not to Try not to uh, put too much strength onto the bezel because the bezel here is very uh, fragile. So you do not want to break or bend the plastic. Since the screen is broken, it's okay if you're going to scratch it or damage the screen because we are replacing with the new screen. All right, so just work your way around it slowly and gently. So pretty much what I'm doing is I'm cutting the double-sided tape that is taping down the bezel. All right, once you have that removed, let's go ahead and put it on the side here. We do not need that. And I like to double check and make sure that the uh, my webcam and the microphone is okay. So remember when I was cutting the adhesive right here, I was doing it gently. Try not to stick too deep. If you can see that the microphone, the webcam and second microphone they are very close to each other so do not stick all the way in just enough to cut the adhesive you try not to scratch uh, or damage the uh, the webcam all right at this point here you can see that the screen is pretty much ready to be removed now you see this little tab right here at the bottom right corner and the bottom left here this is where you want to pull the little black gooey, oh, dang it, I broke the cable. I was going to tell you, be gently when you pull the cable. I pull it too fast and I broke it. Okay, let me try on this side right here. Was this supposed to be break? Oh yeah, never mind. I think I did not break it. So I don't think, first I thought that the uh, the uh, double-sided tape on this one here is long, meaning that it goes from top to bottom. So I expect to be pulling longer than that. But I think they installed the short one, meaning that there's one short here. There's one short on the left, bottom, uh, bottom left here. And also what happened is that they have the... Uh, top right corner if you take a look here there's this little little plastic ready to be pulled as well so they kind of install uh four shorts 
two on the top and two at the bottom. So once you pull that out, okay, once you pull all that, you can flip the screen towards yourself, flip it towards the body. And what you want to do is go ahead and um, make sure the tape is not taped on. So I'm just separating the tape here. And once you have separated the tape, here you can see that there's a little metal clipper, very tiny metal clipper right here. You need to open up and slide that cable away from you. So slide it to that direction to disconnect it, okay? Once you have disconnected the cable, the entire screen will just come straight out. All right, so let's look at the model on the screen. This is the model here. It says NV156FHM-NX1 version 8.0. Okay, you need to buy the exact same screen for the replacement. Try not to buy, you know, like a higher uh, frame rate or refresh rate or the gigahertz on the LCD screen. Uh, it wouldn't work all right so the computer has its own voltage and its own uh, connection the cable this is a 40 pin connector i believe this is a 40 pin because it's a lot larger um, it doesn't mean that you can buy an upgraded version of like the 4k or the 8k lcd it wouldn't work okay so don't try to do stupid stuff here and silly stuff. You just need to buy the exact same screen for your laptop here, okay? Now, I do not have the new screen with me, so I'll be using the old screen um, as a sample to do the installation back, all right? So assuming this is the new screen, it comes in in the mail, you're ready to install. Again, make sure the clipper is open and slide that cable down install put the cl clipper back in to secure the connection right there and then kind of pull the tape and little tape it down have a little snuggle make sure it's tight and tape it down now here is the challenge what you're going to do is you need to have the uh, double-sided tape here right so remember we pull out the black tape here it is not sticky anymore. We need to replace it. Here I have the double-sided tape. This is the five millimeter in width. So the width of this is five mm. What you wanna do is you want to maybe give yourself a little bit room like this and then give yourself a little bit tape here or you can tape top and bottom up to you, your choice. And I just give you one example, right? Because I do not have the new screen to ready to install. So I'm just giving you an example. You can cut four longer or medium sized strips. Go ahead and make yourself a little extra tape right here. Do it on four sides if you want. And then after that, you can go ahead and remove this double sided plastic here. And this tape is ready to be installed. So flip the screen upside down. And what happened now is that you can see that the extra little plastic here is sticking out for your future replacement. If you crack the second time, you know where the tapes are. Okay, so that is a little thing that you need to do. I'm going to remove that. Now, assuming that the new screen is installed, it's taped down, it's good to go. Now the next step is the bezel. I don't think you need to um, get a double-sided tape to retape the uh, the bezel again. Um, you might find a little bit sticky. Still, hopefully that will stick all back together. If you do not have that, what you want to do is you want to get yourself a double-sided tape. Let me show you what size you need to have. You need to have this one. This is the two millimeter width. Okay, it's very tiny. Enough for you to retape 
the bezel. So you might want to scrape off the leftover tape here. Scrape it off and get yourself a 2 mm tape. All right, get yourself 2 mm tape. Retape it on the screen on the bezel and then tape it back in. All right, if you feel like the bezel is not sticky. So that's one way to do it. And uh, what I'll do is I'll link um, the tape in the description below where you can buy the tape from and then follow along my video to do the screen replacement yourself. Try to save some money over here. Okay. Now, once you have that installed, just go ahead and simply tape the bezel back together and there you should have it. And if you press power on, the laptop should power on and boot to the same screen. So as you can see that the uh, the LCD turns on and it's trying to boot to Windows. I hope so. I hope you try to boot to Windows. Um, anyway, remember we shut it off without um, without turning uh, without without powering off comp uh, shut down properly. Anyway, it boots to Windows. This is non touch screen. Just so you know, this is not touch screen and I have the uh, uh, the screen so again press and hold until it shuts off and if you find this video is helpful please go ahead and give me a like and subscribe to the channel you know that would really helps me um, motivated and make more of this video for you and again comment below if you have any question and check out my other video that I did a complete teardown I took the laptop apart and I'll show it to you how to upgrade the RAM, upgrade the M.2 drive, um, clean out the CPU fan, things like that. It's a complete teardown on my separate video. What I'll do is I'll link it right here on the top left corner so you can watch it. Click on that and I hope you learned something today. Until next time, take care. Bye now.